Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up a remote destination profile within Call Manager. Um, this will allow you to perform the simultaneous ring feature that I uh, described in a previous video coming from the DMS-100 to Call Manager. This time it's going to be coming from Call Manager. And uh, basically you can make a call and ring a station that's local. Uh, in this case it will be my IP communicator. And at the same time, it's going to ring a remote destination, which I'm going to set up as 9810036, a phone that resides on the DMS-100. So they'll both ring simultaneously using this feature. So that's a way to come back. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'll go into Call Manager. First thing that I need to do, or that you need to do, is set up an end user. All right, so I'll go ahead and add new. And I'm going to make it the uh, phone number that I want to have use the feature. So 8570143, just to keep it simple. Uh, fill in a password. What confirm it. Uh, look at the required fields. So I'll put in my last name, early. Okay. And then the uh, last thing that you need to make sure of when you're creating the uh, end user is to enable mobility. And once you have that completed, go ahead and save it. All right. Now we're going to go to device and we're going to go to remote destination profile. Now I don't have one made yet, so nothing's going to come up. I'm going to go ahead and add new. And I'm going to name this again 8570143. No description needed. User ID is going to be that user, that end user I just created. The device pool is going to be default. I don't have anything set. Privacy, that's fine. Default. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a, a new line. Now, this is going to create another instance of 8570143. Right now, I have it on an IP communicator. Now, it's going to be associated with a remote destination profile as well. All right, so I'm going to put 857-0143. Good to go. I'll click down here. Now, since the other uh, instance of 857-0143 is not in a route partition, I gain the settings that are already associated with that line. If I, if I chose a different partition, it would not take on these settings. It would not show me associated devices. So I'm going to save that. Go ahead and, and uh, apply config. Normally, you don't have to apply config uh, when you're dealing with the directory number configuration page. It automatically resets the uh, device to take the settings. Okay, so I'm going to go back to device, device settings, remote destination profile again, and there it is. Click on it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a new remote destination. I'm going to name this the remote destination that I want to send it to, 9810036. <clears throat> Although you do not have to do that. That's just a name to identify. That makes it easier to find it in the uh, system. So the destination number is actually going to be 9810036. Uh, delay before ring timer, I'm going to set to zero. I want it to ring immediately. There's my remote destination profile. <coughs> I need to enable mobile connect. I want it to ring all the time, although you can set out a schedule here if you want. That's very nice to have. And always ring this destination. Now I'm going to save it. <clears throat> okay, so this error comes up, and the only reason I'm getting this error is because my uh, phone number instance of 8570143 does not have the mobility soft key configured. You do not need it to make this feature work. That provides the uh, the end user with some functionality and control over this option. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to click Line Association to associate the line. I'm going to save again. And now I'm going to make a test call. So I'm going to call 8570143. And while that is ringing on my IP communicator, you're going to hear the DMS-100-9810036 ring in the background as well.
Okay, so I'm going to pick up the DMS-100 phone. And as you can see on my uh, IP communicator, it shows that the line is active. This is a very neat functionality to have with this feature uh, because coming from the DMS-100 using a SIM ring group, you do not get that functionality. You do not see the line in use. Now I'm going to go ahead and hang up the DMS-100 phone. And as you can see, the line goes into a hold state. And I can actually resume that call. And now I have a connection established within the system. And I have cut off the DMS-100. So that's pretty interesting uh, part of the feature to notice. And that concludes how to set up a remote destination profile to simultaneously ream a station on CUCM8 and a remote station at the same time. Thank you.